welcome to my channel, Divinely Spoken 22. My name is Nadi. This channel is for adults only. Please like, comment, subscribe to the channel, you guys. If y'all like my readings, if y'all like my vibe, help me grow. We can go together. So this is a general energy check-in for the collective, okay? So all the water, fire, air, and earth signs, this is a general collective reading for you guys. So take what fit, leave what doesn't. If you have to ask who, what, when, where, how, why collective, that means that the reading is not for you. I do curse on my channel, so if you don't like the cursing, you can always move to another channel, you guys. I hope everyone is doing well today, um, this afternoon, this evening, wherever you are located in the world. I hope everyone is doing well. I was feeling a bit down this morning, but okay, I'm a cancer, y'all. So I'm up high. I'm like so much better. And I pray. So definitely prayer helps. It definitely lifted my spirit, it lifted my soul. So I'm so thankful for prayer. All right. Um I'm going to definitely get me some prayer time going in. I have time to do everything else. I can have a special time to just set myself aside to pray. So definitely, maybe you guys need to do some praying as well for, for whoever you guys um, serve. You know, I serve God, Jesus, and, you know, the Holy Spirit. So I definitely try to keep them close to me. Um, but definitely, yeah, I feel like that was something I need to tell y'all, you know, start getting some prayer in, all right, because it definitely heals your spirit, your soul. Um, but yeah, let's see what's the energy for collective. I'm going to hop into some of this grounding energy and then I'll be hopping into the reading. Alright, so yeah, I've shuffled the deck already. I'm going to shuffle one more time. But we're going to see what's the um energy spirit for the collective. What is the collective's energy spirit? What is collective's overall general energy, please? What is the energy for the collective spirit? What is collective's energy? Someone wants to tell you that they love you. I feel like this person play a lot of games, though. I feel like it's very complicated, and this person is not seeing clearly here. It's like they're very confused. It's like a dang on Rubik's Cube. <laughs> I feel like this person is contemplating, doing a bunch of heavy thinking, make trying to make a big decision to come forward to you and tell you that they love you, okay? I feel as though this person wants to compromise. This person wants to come back together with you and make it work. This person could have a, a house, you know, like a little apartment. It could be like a bachelor pad. Or this person could live alone. This person could have a dog. But I feel as though this person has unconditional love for you. And they have been watching you, okay? And I feel as though there's a karmic who's jealous. All right, this person has been missing you. All right, you guys have been physically and emotionally distant from each other. And this person wants to spend some quality time with you. All right, this person wants to spend some time with you and have some deep intellectual conversation. I feel as though this could possibly be a water sign who you're dealing with, Cancer Scorpio or Pisces. But someone wants to surrender. I feel as though you could be a Cancer Scorpio or Pisces watching this. You are surrendering, trusting the flow you're going within. All right. I feel as though someone has been trying to communicate with you telepathically here. All right. Um, through the five D, you know, through signs, synchronicities, through your dreams. I feel as though this person wants to come in and offer a commitment of loyalty here, some type of agreement. But there's a karmic that's blocking this relationship with you guys. All right. That was too many. Y'all, hold on. Hold on, y'all. Give me one second. I'll be right there. I'm sorry about that, y'all. I do apologize, but let's hop back into it. Yeah, anyways, there's a karmic here who is um in the middle. This karmic is jealous, a green-eyed monster. This is a twin flame divine connection here that you have with this person. And that's why they're just holding on to you so hard energetically because they're missing you. They're feeling left out in the cold. All right, they're feeling like one-sided. I feel like they're feeling alone right now. How you feeling alone when you're with the karmic? 
that's what I don't understand. <laughs> uh, this person is having fear, holding back, overthinking, and that's causing this is causing a physical distance and emotionally as well because this person never came to you. This person never showed you any emotion. All right, they only hold, held on to you energetically, and I feel like you moved away from this person. But they're going to be coming towards you very soon here. One in the top. Yeah, I definitely feel like this person can have a, job, a dog, but this person is going to become the chaser. This person is going to be coming back for you, very determined in pursuit. Um, this could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or you could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius watching this video. I feel as though you're moving forward towards a new path here, something more like a, a something like you're moving out of this cold, negative, dark energy to something more warm or something more like a more fresh air. You know, uh, you're going to be able to take a, a, a deep breath of fresh air with this new um path you're going along all right and spirit wants you to wait okay trust in divine timing you need to hold back because this person is going to be coming towards you chasing you but you need to know that the universe has your back and you need to trust the process this has already been written all right so you need to just trust into your spirit guides and the lord all right i feel like you're moving forward and this person is going to be chasing you because you're you're building your account you're getting your blessings you're becoming very wealthy and that is why this person is going to be coming towards you that's why spirit wants you to wait all right yeah you finna be coming into some big money here you could be signing a contract here or something like that that's going to lead you to money all right it's going to lead to a celebration party gifts you're having good karma and this person sees that all right, I feel as though some of y'all could be running, like jogging a little trail in the morning time, you know, like early in the morning doing a little exercising. Um, I feel like this person is definitely making plans, um, planning to move forward to come towards you, but it's only for the money. It's not any, like they love you, but they never, they never showed, they never, they always loved you, but never showed you, right? So it's like they let all this time go by. Knowing that they love you but didn't show you, didn't come forward. But now they see that you're trying to come into some type of money or that you're about to come into some type of money. You signed some type of contract here. All right. And now they want to come forward. They, not, they didn't come forward to you for the love, but they're going to come forward to you for the money. I feel as though this person has been watching you. You have a secret admirer. This person is crushing on you. I feel like you're out here shining and profiling. Get your blessings and gift that God has given you. All right. You could be a Leo Sagittarius or Aries watching this. Or you could have been dealing with a Leo Sagittarius or Aries. I'm getting Gemini, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. And I'm also getting water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. But you're out here being blessed here with material gifts. Um... Yeah, earth energy as well. So, this person feels as though you're their twin flame. But spirit said no. This person is a karmic partner with past life ties. So, you guys were together in the past life. But this is meant a lesson, not a blessing. You need to wait because you do have a divine counterpart that's going to be coming in here for you. It's going to be a gift from the divine. You have been maybe dreaming about this new person. You probably can't see their face. Um, but whatever the case is, it's new love coming in. It's going to be full of romance. It's going to be getting to know each other, flirting, whining, and dining. I feel like you need to use your intuition. That's going to lead you to this. You're trusting into the divine surrendering. Uh, some of you guys could be doing some meditation here or some wusar or whatever you're doing. It's helping you. It's moving you spiritually. Maybe you can't see it, but it's spiritual. You have a very high ranking here. And I feel as though this person is wanting to come in to manipulate you. This person is very controlling this past love. Controlling and toxic. Still playing games. Okay. Um. Yeah. I feel like you're not going to listen to them or some of you guys who maybe will, but you need to cover your ears because this is a toxic ass person. All right. But that was just a quick energy check in for the collective. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did hit that like button, comment, subscribe to the channel. Help me grow. We can grow together. And until next time, bye collective.